when we move the Spring Boot app from one environment to another like dev to test to prod, we need to change the database where it is pointing to or the log settings. In this video, we will see how to make these changes external to the app so that we do not have to modify code just for moving from one environment to another. We will use the project Spring Boot and JPA working with table with composite PK in service methods and form submissions we had built earlier for this demonstration. Please watch that video if you want to get up to speed. So here is our project. Here is the application.properties file where we are pointed to an Oracle database and its dev schema demo. There are some other settings like for instance the logging settings which will be different in dev than in prod. There are many ways of doing this but we will look at a simple way of accomplishing this objective. For us to see which database is our app connected to, let us put some system outs. So here is our main class which implements command line runner which in effect runs this run method upon the app startup. Here is a save method we are calling to persist some data to the database using the person service. Let's go to the person service class and inside the save method let us put a system out database used is and use the data source which is injected by spring get connection and then get schema. Let us round it by a try catch. Let's run this app by right clicking and choosing run as spring boot app. We see at the bottom the save method being executed which outputs the name of the database it is connected to which in this case is demo. Let's package this app in a jar by right clicking and choosing run as maven build and then creates a jar in the home slash parallels slash demo and then the project folder. Let's go there. Here is our jar in the target folder. Let's copy it. Let us copy it to the test folder. Let's open a terminal window and go to that folder. Here is the jar. Now let us run it from the command line using java-jar and our jar. As expected, it is connecting to the demo schema as per the application.properties file inside the jar. Let us say now our testing is complete and we copy and move it to the prod folder. Over here in this folder, let us create a new file and call it application.properties. Let's go to the application's application.properties file and copy the settings from here to this file. Now, when you have an application.properties file in the same folder as the jar file, that will take precedence over the one inside the jar and its settings will take effect. So over here, let us change the database username and password to point it to the prod schema. Let's change the logging level also. Now, let's open another terminal window and go to the prod folder. Here is our jar file and our application.properties file. Let's run java-jar and our jar. The application starts and this time we see it is connecting to the prod schema. So this way by having an application.properties file with appropriate settings in the deployment folder in each environment, we can move the same code base, the same jar file to each deployment environment and have it connect to the appropriate database with appropriate log settings etc. We do not have to make code changes and maintain a separate version of the jar file for each environment. Thanks for watching.